my name is Ihius Elom Abdallah. Call me that Keta boy because I feel I'm the Keta boy, born and bred in Keta, live all my life in Keta before I stepped out of Keta. But I still have Keta at heart, so I want to be a Keta boy and I want to sell Keta to the world. been a, a dream for me for the past six years now. The reason why we brought this kind of festival is uh, we realized we to your festival has become the normal stuff. So we come around go for street carnivals and uh, go for parties around, hang around and uh, that's the end. There's no reason why a tourist would want to come to Keta aside from see our green beaches and going around the few tourist sites we have. So uh, this dream is just to bring something to town. Something that when someone is coming to town, they say I'm coming to Bukwetu Joe Festival, what should I be expecting? Uh, we just want to put spice, put colour to the Bukwetu Joe Festival. The meaning of Bukwetu uh, is it is an error word and uh, it simply means sunrise or rising of the sun so uh, we the uh, errors we say we are to go so we just want to use we just use that word and uh, the reason why we are using that word is to actually uh, ignite that kind of light in the, the youth uh, we the youth we take ourselves as the egg like the sun so we are rising and we know Keta it's a very, very, very significant town that uh, works with, uh, should I say, I'm not saying, uh, that, should, uh, that actually, the sun has been uh, one of our major resource and uh, the sun as well. So some people call Keta Sun City, some people call it Sun City, but I call it Sun City, that's why I used, uh, we used the name so the get to simply means the rising of the sun so we are the youth and we are rising of Keta to make Keta sun so uh, this event actually uh, we've done a lot of things in the past and we are still trying new things and putting new things together so the program lineup for the event uh, is uh, we're having a party on the bus. That's an event we've done some time ago and we are still bringing it back. Uh, we've started a, a competition among the senior high schools, especially the arts and crafts students, because we want to uh, inculcate that kind of uh, vocational skills and promote the vocational skills that we have in our uh, younger generations and our colleagues. Uh, and, uh, we are starting an arts and crafts battle with uh, the senior high schools. We started with the whole um, town, but we're not getting ten out, so we decided to move to the senior high schools to promote them. And uh, work is being done, we are still working, and very soon things will come out for everyone to see. Then, um, I myself, I write and direct theatre. Not that I'm going to learn it in school, but that's a talent I, I have personally. So, I have written a story about how the airways came about and uh, the story is uh, titled the Anto story uh, the airway story ritual so um, this story is a fusion of um, cultural music poetry um, acrobatic displays and other displays singing and dancing and everything with acting so uh, we are staging that play to join this festival of art and um, there's another play that is coming from a colleague of mine back in school. He's also bringing another play, which is a comic play called um, the, This Nonsense Must Stop. And um, 
we are also coming with serial music we all know serial music is like a gentleman that loves a web folk music he modernized a web folk music to make it sound nice again and serial music will also be with us to give us a full live band show and some other musicians that will be passing through like Bebs, um, Bacteria and other guys K-Popsy and some other guys will be coming through and the event is actually uh, divided into two we have the day session which is free for all everybody that's the art exhibition and some cultural exhibitions and other stuff, games and stuff. It should be open for everybody by in the evening because um, theater, I don't know for us here in the theater, but from where I have been, I realized that theater is expensive and putting things together, we would like to take some small token for showing the theater. So in the evening, we are selling tickets for theater show which is uh, just 30 cities for regular and 50 cities for VIP. You can experience two theaters. In Accra, it's 100 cities, one theater, but we are giving you two for just 30 and 50 cities. And then there is barbecue night, there are drinks and everything for you to just relax with your um, your partner or whoever you have around, your date, whoever you have around, just come and relax and have a feel. It's going to be at the beach, just near Aborigines Beach Resort. When you get to Aborigines Beach Resort from Beach Hotel, you watch your left, there's a coconut tree just around there. That's where we're having a huge event. It's going to be very, very, very interesting. We want everybody to be part of it.